sure it was a tough game. Uh, we got down early and fought back um, and just didn't come out with the win. So here we are. <laughs> All right, questions? We'll take the coach. Um, it seemed Wichita State had some momentum out of the shoot, but you know, the first quarter, third quarter, start of the fourth quarter. Uh, how hard was it to kind of chase the game for, for much of it? Um, how much of an impact did that have when you were kind of playing from behind for much of it? Yeah, unfortunately, we started the game really slow. They jumped out to a, a big lead in the, in the first quarter. Second quarter, we kind of got our wits back and fought back. Um, then the third quarter, we were still in the game, still in the game. Um, but, you know, w Wichita State, they kept pounding and kept pounding and kept pounding. They went inside. They had shooters on the outside. They sh shot a, a tremendous percentage. Um, and it was tough for us to get back in there. You know, we, we fought back. We got back in the game. But then in the end, it ju they just pulled away. And again, what was the key to the, you know, down 17 in the third quarter and then almost instantly it was tied? You know, what was the key to, to, to getting that going? And, um, and then well, how hard is it once you get there to, to continue yeah. the kick? Well, you know, it? our defense kicked in. Again, you know, we're, we're working with a, a short bench. But, you know, I've got to say those eight kids battled. And that's how we got back in the game. Uh, and then, you know, we, we battled down, like you said, down 17, come back and tie the game. And, and it seems like we ran out of gas a little bit. All right, we'll go to questions from the Zoom. We'll go to Sean Pastor, please. Sean, if you just unmute yourself and fire away. Yeah, hi, uh, Aaliyah. I wonder if you could describe just sort of the emotions of the run to get all the way back and then for the game to flip. Um, okay, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, I was just kind of telling my team, you know, regardless of the score, just to play hard. I mean, we came all down this way. We, we weren't going to go out soft, so kind of play hard. I, I think at one point it was like 45 to 30, and um, right before we were about to go on the foul line to shoot free throws, I told him, like, you know, no matter what, you know, keep, keep fighting. I mean, forget the score, forget all that, you know, just keep fighting. And then we brought it back, and I think within five minutes in the uh, fourth quarter, we tied the game up. But, um, you know, I think I, I don't think I was ever really too concerned about the score. I think I was more concerned, like, you know, we all have to stay together and fight together. And I feel like that's how we kind of came back. And uh, my emotions were kind of just, like, everywhere, you know. This is the uh, kind of the first time I really, like, played in the American um, – for like, cause I at Cincinnati didn't play a lot, but this was the first time I really played in the American tournament. So it was overall like a great feeling, like emotions were everywhere, but I think during the game it was up and down, but regardless, um, we didn't come out with the outcome that we wanted to, but when, when things got rough, um, it was just kind of like stick together and stay positive, definitely really positive. Right, but are you are you watching the score as the comeback? Like when it's a three point game and you're shooting that three to tie it. Like, are you aware? No, I was. Okay. I was just playing. You know, that's kind of what I was trying to tell the team. You know, at one point I was like, you know what, forget the score because if we focus on the score, we're focusing on us being down. So I was just like, just play. And then we got consecutive stops. And then when we stopped focusing on, you know, how much we were down by and just kind of rallying and being together, that's when we uh, came back. But when I, when I hit the three to tie it up, I, I didn't really realize it until, um, until I looked up. But I think I was just telling the girls, just stay present. Stay present and stay positive. Garrett, so Coach just said, you know, maybe you guys ran out of gas. Um, maybe you don't feel that way when it's happening, but after, you know, suddenly tie it and then it's eight or 10 again, do you feel like, whoa, what does that feel again? Is there like a, you know, did it, was it, a, I don't know. Right, running out of gas, for the lack of another term. Is that a question for me? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that was for Tiara. I'm sorry. I was saying, yeah. Coach, you had mentioned, yeah. you, right, you said that. She... Oh. Can, you repeat, Can you, the you repeat the question? Yeah, I was saying, did, did you, right, did you feel like you guys ran out of gas to some degree? That, you know, the comeback kind of was, you know, all you had at that point? Um, I don't necessarily feel like we ran out of gas. It was just more of like we got to keep pushing. We got to keep getting stops and not only get stops, but we got to convert when we get stops. And, you know, shots weren't falling, but it's, again, we had to um, keep playing hard to the last minute. So, uh, Diana, I just wonder, right, you went, this was like a month of this, trying to figure out like the magic uh, answer to not having right the depth right the to to get through the fourth quarter is there no magic answer to that? Well, there's no magic, but uh, there's resiliency from our team, 
and they knew what we were getting into and they stepped up and and if you look at all the games we had seven eight players and we were still in every game so that you know my compliment to them for for sticking in there and you know just jumping in there and doing whatever they had to do sacrificing their bodies you know we got a kid with a broken nose a broken jaw all of that with eight players and they still came to play every single game we it yep. will not be like this next year though thanks anyone else thank you very much thank you so much thank you, thank you.